Hello everybody and welcome back. Unfortunately, I have some very sad news. Despite the fact that it is 2020, one glaring social injustice continues to plague my daily existence. Wedding registry inequality. I am being heavily discriminated against as a single person, most powerfully evidenced by wedding registries. A wedding registry is merely an opportunity to receive gifts for adulthood from members of your lifelong community. Nothing more than equipping you and your new spouse with the essentials of adult life. Spice racks, waffle makers, pressure cookers, vacuum cleaners, serving dishes, hand mixers, cheese platters, blah blah blah, you get it. Stuff that would be ridiculous for me to spend my own money on, but that other people should absolutely buy for me. If you think that just because I don't have a fiance, that I don't need a food processor at my mom's best friend's expense, you're an idiot. I'm on a mission to rebrand wedding registries as adulthood registries. If you hit 25 and aren't married, odds are good that you're out of college and that you might be in a time in your life when you're ready to stop serving guests with multicolored plastic cups from Walmart. Maybe you need to go to a job interview and your shirt is wrinkled and you go to iron it but you don't have a fiance so you don't have an iron I am using my parents knife set from their wedding reception 30 years ago this fact alone proves the huge advantage of having a wedding reception imagine how sharp of knives I could be using if I had my own wedding registry it's totally unfair that just because I haven't met a guy who is 6'4 230 pounds of pure muscle with an advanced degree in computer software his own multi-million dollar tech company the face of Henry Cavill the wit and charm of Joel Maisel and the emotional and artistic genius of Harry Styles that I shouldn't get presents for free from every person my parents have ever known. I would love for my childhood dentist to buy me a griddle. I think my dad's boss owes me an Instapot. My mom's second cousin should absolutely get me a sous vide. But I'm not one to merely rant about injustices. Today, we're taking action. I am going to create a wedding registry then we're gonna ask people to buy me stuff. We'll be using Amazon Prime. Jeff Bezos, please sponsor me. The reason for that is I want these gifts in two days. Can't really wait. All right, Amazon. I've decided to marry Kylo Ren. I don't see why I shouldn't be able to. Looks like the way Amazon has this set up, they want me to get a certain amount of gifts from 0 to 50, 50 to 100, 100 to 150, 150 plus. A little stressful to be perfectly honest. I just feel a lot of pressure from Amazon. I don't know that I really want all this stuff. A grilling thing. I always need more teaspoons. That thing. A griddle. Definitely a waffle maker. What do you mean? No thanks. You know, there's so many things in here that I would never buy, but I'm grateful that I have this opportunity to ask other people to buy them for me. Okay, Okay, now Settlers of Catan, okay, and Ticket to Ride. Why does Amazon keep suggesting that I buy games? You just give up normal hobbies as soon as you get hitched. No more Netflix, no more sporting events, concerts. I'm fully committed to board games now that I'm married. Chad and I, it's all about scattergories. Yahtzee. All I know is that Amazon has never advertised apples to apples to me before and now they're like amped about it. It's kind of a weird thing. Oh my gosh, another freaking game. What's with married people in games? I don't really want a lot of this stuff, but I feel pressure. I need... 36 items between zero and fifty dollars. Oh, yeah, I'll get some pillows a salad bowl sure all these things are things that single people need too. oh interesting an egg McMuffin thing This seems totally unnecessary, but I don't have enough items. So I'm gonna get it I don't want this crap. Oh panini maker. Those are kind of fun. This is too much work Oh meat thingy, but whatever. I'm done dinking around in the zero to fifty. Let's get serious We're doing fifty to a hundred. Yes. 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 Yes to these knives getting an update from 1980 whatever Tents? Why would I want a tent now that I'm getting married? Well, I'm not, but if they're pushing a lot of tents. I hate camping. I don't want a tent. Unless, of course, my fiance wants a tent, but there's no way of knowing because I don't have a fiance. I think this just boils down to the fact that not even Amazon knows what I should be asking for. That's $150 plus. That would make sense as a wedding gift. I guess I'll get a tent. I don't want one, but I don't have enough items in this 50 to 100 range. A drill? Now we're talking. That could be useful for me. <sighs> this thing's sweet. Yeah, this looks necessary. It's like a pot within a pot within a pot. I'm realizing it's really not that easy to make a wedding registry. I've been a little angry about it, about the injustice of it all, but it might not be all that it's cracked up to be. This is a lot of responsibility. There's like 30 options for a frying pan. I don't know which one to tell somebody to buy for me. Maybe I don't want a single adult registry after all. A kayak. Amazon's being ridiculous now. Oh my gosh. I only got eight items out of 48 in the 50 to 100 range. This is not going good, you guys. Sick an air mattress. I think I already asked for some pots and pans, but these ones are blue. Oh, apple tea. TV. Definitely need that. This, I have no idea what it is, but it says nest on it. 
on it and I like that brand's a sewing machine. I think I should get this. A Swiffer. For $120, there's a Swiffer looking thing. Whatever. Somebody else is paying. I don't care. A wheelbarrow? No. I don't want a wheelbarrow. $150 plus. This should be easy. A nest. Wow, this is getting real for me. I've been wanting a nest for a long time. It's really expensive, so I chose not to buy one. It just feels so incredible to break through this barrier of injustice and to have a nest made available to me because somebody else is going to pay for it. If I had let society tell me, hey, you don't get a wedding registry until you get married, I wouldn't be anticipating potentially getting a nest from someone else this very second. So, very cool. Oh, a meat vacuum? I probably need that. A switch? Ah, oh, man. If only I'd known that I could add a switch to my registry, I wouldn't have asked for one for Christmas. If you buy a couple a switch for their wedding registry, honestly, good on you. Marriage, in my view, is about having fun. The best way to do that is to play the switch together. You know what? I'm gonna throw in a few games right now. Where's my freaking sous vide? Ah, yes. Here it is. Frick yeah. Sous vide is another incredible item that I wouldn't buy because it's a waste of money, but since it's on someone else's dime, I'd love one. The exhilaration of getting free stuff that I want from other people's hard-earned money is the best feeling in the world. I don't know what else to get. Oh, TRX. Yeah, what the frick? Why not? 150 bucks for some ropes? Jeez Louise. So this is a little weird. They're suggesting uh, one of those standing outdoor heaters that are like six feet tall. I can guarantee Amazon doesn't know how I should cover these big ticket items. In what world do I need one of those? Definitely not as a single person. As a married person, I don't really know that you would need one either. A giant sleeping bag. That's... No. Great, so now I'm going to post this to Facebook. Follow me on TikTok. I have 547 followers. Pretty good. I recently had an epiphany. It is unjust that only people who become engaged receive gifts for adulthood via a wedding registry. I do not have a fiancé, but surprisingly, single people need food processors too. Idiots. Just because I am 27 and unmarried does not mean... I am not in need of a griddle or frying pan at my parents' friend's expense. As pictured, I created a spreadsheet to document every person who buys me something for my single adult registry at this time. Whoever does will be exempt from the social expectation of purchasing me a gift when and if I have a wedding. Thank you for helping me to correct the social injustice. I look forward to your presence. Visit my gift registry here. Great. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later. I'm super excited to say that society is very advanced and has been very open to fixing the immorality of wedding registries. Single people and married people are equally deserving of free stuff. My parents' friends recognize that and are buying me gifts. I couldn't be happier. Hats off to my Facebook friends. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the presents. As promised, you're exempt from buying me a wedding gift. Appreciate you guys. I'm excited. I'm happy to end this video on a positive note. I was worried that I was going to have to say to my subscribers, look how dark and selfish the world is. I'm happy to say that we might be a little bit further along than I thought in, in gift registry rights. Thank you so much for watching. Watching, please buy something off my registry or in exchange you could subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you support gift registry equality go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I'll follow up with a gift registry haul video show you guys everything that everyone bought me thanks so much guys and I'll see you next week <laughs>